Hey guys, welcome back to Tej Art. Today we'll be looking into the most scariest subjects in your BR or your JMA's paper 2 exam, which is math, first of all, and the second one is drawing. Like these are the most asked questions in my YouTube comments and my Instagram DMs as well. So I thought I'll make a video for you know all of this. So in this I'll tell you what all you have in the first place, like what all topics you have and also what books you need for uh, math and drawing and also how to score best marks the best you can though you're not preparing or you're preparing so it's like a strategy it's not a strategy basically like how to score best marks in math and drawing so that's what i'll be telling you in this video okay so first of all i'll be going through what all topics you have in math in the first place and we can like segregate the easier ones and the harder ones because we don't have a lot of time um, not we like you don't have a lot of time <laughs> okay so the first one would be complex numbers and quadratic equations so basically this is uh, like a hard subject but then it could be very easy if you're uh, like very good at understanding but most of the cases you're not good at math so I'll be telling you uh, I'd recommend you to just leave that question because sometimes they twist it a lot and it will get a little hard okay so the second one is matrices and determinants this is very easy chiller subject very easy easily you can score marks so what you will have to do is uh, try and you know like go back to the basics and try and understand all those formulas and like note down all of them and it will really help you before the exam because you will not have to go through all the books again. So the third one is sets relations functions again an easy chapter and uh, like if you're good at it please please go through all the formula again. Uh, so the next one is mathematical induction your wish you can leave it or read and then permutation and combination again a very very easy chapter. So if you can go through all of the uh, basics again, it'll be easier. So mathematical reasoning, limits and continuity, and uh, integral calculus, three-dimensional geometry, easy chapter, differential equations, binomial theorem, and the applications, sequences and series, easy, vector algebra, and statistics and probability, easy, trigonometry, easy, coordinate geometry, easy. So in these chapters, they give you like, sometimes they, they give you like very easy questions wherein you have to find the angle between the, you know, line and the plane and they're, they're basically very easy. So again, all of this is from my point of view. And if you find other topics easier, I want you to go with those topics first because you don't have a lot of time considering all the other subjects you'll have to study because not just math. Uh, so that's it for the uh, like topics in mathematics. Now we're going to go to topics in drawing. So if you're attempting drawing, what all you'll have to learn before you, you know, go to the exam. So the first one is drawing and designing of geometrical and abstract shapes. So they'll, you know, like ask you for a composition or a, you know, geometrical drawing, which is like very basic. You'll find a lot of videos on YouTube as well. So go check that out and transformation of forms from 2D to 3D. So they might give you uh, like the object and then they'll tell you to transform it into a 3D composition, right? So you have elevation and 3D views of objects, development of surfaces and volumes, generation of plan and creating 2D and 3D composition giving, uh, like using the given uh, forms or the shapes that they give you. And then sketching of activities from memory of urban scenes. This is a very common question. Uh, basically, they give you a situation or a, like an imaginary uh, scenario and then they tell you to put it up on your paper. For example, in NATA we had, um, like that, that was, no, this is just an example from NATA exam. So they tell you to uh, draw the view from the window where you're standing, like you're standing inside the window and then you look outside the window and they give you a few elements which is like outside the window, like probably a uh, hospital or a road and then you'll have to imagine all of that in your head and draw it so for this to be possible you'll have to learn perspectives very important so that's it for drawing i'll go a little more deeper uh, like after this okay so the books that we need for uh, mathematics and drawing a uh, drawing actually i recommended that in another video so go check that out uh, for mathematics i'll tell you right now Okay, so for math, I would like to recommend 11th and 12th grade books, wherever you're studying NCRT books or state books or whatever you're studying. Uh, the next one would be Complete Mathematics for JE Main by TMH. You can find that on Amazon. And then Plane Geometry and Elements of Coordinate Geometry. Uh, because these topics, usually they're easier. So if you're very good with the basics and if you learn all of that, it'll be easier for 
any other chapters as well and uh, differential and integral calculus by amit agarwal obviously that's a very common known book so get that and then you have algebra by was it goyal so these are the books that i recommend for math and uh, if you cannot buy all of that i would tell you to stick with your 11th and 12th grade books only and again i'm stressing so much on basics because if you are good with those standard problems that always repeat it'll be easier for you you can at least score because you don't want to lose a negative marks again that's very important right okay in drawing uh, for drawing you can go and check that uh, video and you can also buy this drawing book test by nimesh madan right and for general aptitude i guess you're all good in general aptitude that's a very bad guess but i would tell you to get aptitude and reasoning by rs agarwal agarwal books best a complete self guide for br by uh, mishra all of them are available on amazon so go check them out and nata and br complete uh, self study material so there's like package you know like a complete package material in which you will have gk aptitude and math so get a package like that it'll help you out as well so these are the books so we are done with what the first thing the syllabus we're done with syllabus and now we're done with books now i'll just give you a few tips and answer a few questions so i'm going through my comments um yeah so mostly asked questions let's see what we got there's a lot of questions so the first thing would be what all materials to take to the exam so for drawing obviously you can take your colors like oil pastels and color pencils and don't take watercolors because it will totally spoil your paper uh, and uh, like totally just don't take paints poster colors will dry out very soon but uh, it's better to stick with color pencils and crayons and pen if you're like good with pen just use pens but it would be preferable if you're using colors because they might just give you more marks and there's also uh, like sometimes it's also mentioned in the question to use colors and th that is when you'll have to use colors for sure so take color pencils and crayons and scale yes you can take your scale so there's a few people who have no clue or who have not started math at all and who are very bad at math so for them i'd like to tell ki uh, stick with the easier topics i'm pretty sure you're not bad with all the chapters right kuch to hoga like one to two chapters should be easy to you example matrices or let's say i don't know statistics and you have trigonometry and corner geometry so these should be like very easy for you uh or probably some other chapters so go stick with the easier chapters don't uh, confuse yourself with so many chapters and you know like mess up your head go with the easier chapters note down all the uh, like formula that you have and then start preparing done you will get marks and don't be very over confident and uh, don't guess answers because no you cannot lose marks in negatives so that should help you a lot with math because uh, like don't give up on math uh, if you are like very bad at math you should at least know the basics right so study uh, like the basic ones and then in drawing there's a lot of students who are asking books for drawing there's like almost like 15 to 16 comments just for drawing books i mentioned a book earlier in this video itself so you can get that book and uh, refer all of those drawings so the first thing would be uh, learn perspectives because when they tell you to uh, like you know draw an imaginary scenario you'll have to use your own imagination skills and you cannot like rely on any sort of book uh, like in that exam so that is when you'll have to be very good with perspectives so yeah perspectives and after that <clears throat> you'll have to be good with compositions very uh, like commonly asked questions so 2d and 3d compositions and for all of this you can find a lot of videos a lot of pdfs like free on uh, like internet so you don't even have to buy books for drawing all you have to do is practice 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 and if you don't have time to time to practice just uh, practice drawing the simplest things in perspective like a cube in perspective or a cuboid in perspective or like you know like your table in perspective or your laptop anything and obviously uh, 3d compositions are very easy so just keep practicing more of them and uh, take care of color schemes and color uh, like all the topics related to color so shravya says she is scared of drawing don't be 
just keep practicing and there's nothing to be scared of though you'll just have to put more time for drawing because don't waste a lot of time on mathematics and aptitude uh, like drawing will take a lot of time of course it uh, has a lot of marks as well so put more time for drawing and like don't mess up the details just don't be scared <laughs> Okay, so there's questions regarding B planning. To be honest, I don't have a lot of knowledge about B planning, so please don't ask me. I can like dig a little information for you, but like I don't know, so it's better to ask people who actually know about B planning. I can help you out with NATA and BR, but B planning out of my range and uh, out of my knowledge. Okay, so B, uh, can you also make videos for JE Paper 2 architecture? So I like what do you expect me to make in a video? I would want to know that because in this video we, we just talk about syllabus and just a few tips. So if there's something that you want to know, please mention in the comments. So before the March exams comes up, uh, so the exam is tomorrow. So the, the exams for J mains paper to start from tomorrow. But if you're attempting for the second time, which is in March, uh, we have a lot of time, like not a lot of time, but still you can ask me questions and I'll make videos or answer you in the comments as well. So whatever doubts you have, please post them in the comments because I'm not so sure what type of content that you're looking for.